Hi class, the lab today is on determination of the equilibrium constant of ethyl acetate. Ethyl acetate is, a, is an ester and it reacts with water and form acetic acid and ethanol which is an alcohol. But it's very easy to determine the concentration of acetic acid because you can titrate it with sodium hydroxide. So by titrating the acetic acid produced, we can get the co equilibrium concentration of the different reagents at equilibrium. So this lab is a two weeks lab. The first week, you have to prepare the solutions. So we have uh, five samples. So you do this runs. The different uh, run one, run two, run three, run four, run five. You mix them and keep them in the big in the in your lockers for one week, so that equilibrium will reach. Then week two, you take the solutions that you prepared. We have five bottles, and you try to determine the equilibrium concentration of the ester, acetic acid, and ethanol. But you do that by titrating the concentration of acetic acid in the mixture. But before we do the titration, we have to use sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is hygroscopic, so we need to standardize it. To do the standardization, we have to use potassium hydrogen futilate, which is a primary standard. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to weigh potassium hydrogen futilate in three bottles and do the standardization of the sodium hydroxide. So the first thing you do, you put your empty flask you get the weight of the flask, then you take your potassium hydrogen futilate, put about three grams of potassium hydrogen futilate. So when we do that, so this is the concentration, the potassium hydrogen futilate that has been weighed. So you have to weigh three flasks. You have three of them. So these are the three flasks. So after that, we have to titrate it against sodium hydroxide. So you rinse your burette, you fill it with sodium hydroxide, So I fill it with sodium hydroxide. Then the potassium hydrogen futilate, I have to put 50 ml of distilled water. So I'm going to measure 50 ml of distilled water. Using a graduated cylinder. Then I'll pour it here. When I do that, I'm going to shake it. Then I put uh, two drops of phenolphthalein. Oh my. So 
So sorry class, the final talent just went into the the container because it was not well locked. So, so I'm going to repeat this part of the lap. That's the interesting thing about lap. Okay, I'll start again. I'll measure 50 ml of distilled water. Then I put it in the primary standard. Shake it a little bit. Then put about two drops of phenolphthalein. Then I'll titrate it with sodium hydroxide. So take the, you take the initial burette reading. It must not start at zero. So you just take the initial burette reading. Then now you want to titrate with sodium hydroxide. So you don't need to wait until all the crystals dissolve because while you're titrating it's going to dissolve and because this is the first uh, titration I just need the approximate so I'm going to titrate it So one drop is enough to change the color. So when the color starts being taken long to change, to, to disappear, it means you are getting towards the end point. So then you start putting it dropwise. So when you have a permanent pink color, then that's the end point. But I have to watch out to make sure the color stays. So the color is, is pink and it's not changing. So this is the end point. So you do that for the other two. to beakers. So the final reading, you have to read it. And when you read it, you subtract the initial from the final. That's the volume used. So after you have standardized the sodium hydroxide, now you want to titrate the solutions that you prepared a week before, which you assume it has reached equilibrium. And before you do that, you make sure you Fill the burette again. We fill the burette with sodium hydroxide. 
You don't have to start the initial at zero. Maybe it's at zero, that's okay. So we are going to put phenolphthalein indicator in our solution. Now we left to reach equilibrium. So you put two drops of phenolphthalein. I'm going to put two drops of phenolphthalein. Okay. It's colorless in acid. So now you want to titrate with the standardized sodium hydroxide. Okay. So you take the initial burial reading, which I'm going to take. Then you start titrating. So So that's the end point. You do that for the other five bottles and you take your reading.